welcome back guys, welcome back to some Dragon Quest XI, this is, uh, I think episode 4, and this is what happens when you load the game, which is kind of cool. Uh, a little update on what's happened so far, and keeps you, uh, keeps you up to date with the story, which is good, because a lot of times with RPGs, because they're so long, sometimes you have to take breaks from them, and you can forget what the hell you were doing. So, uh, it's nice that they add that, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you set the battle mode to classic camera, the only thing you'll have to worry about in battle is picking the right spells and abilities. So yeah, apparently moving about in battle doesn't actually do anything. It's just for visuals. Um, and someone did comment about the classic camera. So I might just try that out for a little bit. Which I assume is in the uh, system settings. Camera controls. Maybe not. Claim special rewards? Oh, maybe this is for like the, uh, the pre-order bonus stuff. Maybe. Oh, yeah, look, so we got a... I don't know what those are. Enigmatic orbs imbued with the potent power of purified progress? You can use these rare rocks to forge yourself a whole host of incredible equipment. Oh. Best for success. Uh, land extra loot when they win a battle. And 15 seeds of skill. Which we haven't actually gotten to use any skill points yet. I'm not sure if that'll be at level 5. Um, I'll claim these maybe later. I don't want to give myself too much of an unfair advantage. Um, battle mode. Classic camera. Here we go. Let's try that for a little bit. Right, so last time we uh, we found ourselves at a campsite, not too far from Cobblestone, and uh, I think I'll need to ring the bell to get my horsey back, but you know what? I might just hoof it a little bit. Oh, there's a well. There's usually good, good stuff in the wells, isn't there? Oh my god, that fucking lighting is so good. Ah. Oh, we, yep, you just jump straight down. Classic. This music is hilarious to me, by the way. It's so energetic. Alright, what have we got here? There's a shiny! Strong medicine! Ho ho ho! Good stuff. Oh, you know what I didn't do either? I didn't check the, uh... Gemma's charm. Yeah, it looks like it's an accessory, so I should have really equipped that, but I completely forgot to check it. So, a bit more defense. There we go. Um, right, let's leave the well. What's the name of the girl in the ring? Is it Samara? You climb the thing. Because if that's the case, we're doing what she couldn't do. And then she get, had to get all pissy about it. I, I can't, it's been so long since I've seen it, I can't remember her name. Anywho. Uh, Heliodor doesn't look to be too far away. What are those invisible things? We saw one of them in the opening cutscene. What are they? Why can only... I guess only we can see them, so it must be something to do with our destiny. It must be. Um, hang on. So, looks like we can go two ways. I'm guessing the Emerald Coast will be locked to us, but we could go right or left. Hmm. Well, I kind of want to explore both, so let's just go this way. And get to a few more fights, because, well, it's Dragon Quest. Gotta love the grind. Oh, a classic camera. Nice. Sweet. I, I think I'll stick. I'll stick with this for a little bit. Two attacks. Are you having a laugh? I guess I just had two though, so that's okay. 
10 experience for two of them. I see a shiny! Oh, it's someone chasing me. Oh, is it? oh there's gotta be someone up here. No? Yes! Preemptive attack. These enemies look so good. Wait. What what the hell did I just do? The power of pep. Alright, okay. Innovated state knows being pepped up, which will boost the martial might for a while. Nothing lasts forever. After several turns have passed, they'll lose their glow and back to normal. Um Alright. So it's not quite like the psych up system from eight. I thought I'd done something to trigger it, but I guess it just happens naturally. Maybe a bit like Trance in uh, FF9. That's cool. And so in the next fight, that should still carry over. That's good to know. A chunk of Flintstone. It's going to be uh, getting towards night time soon. Which means I would assume there's going to be nastier enemies. Did he just block that? Are you serious? What a git. 25! Have that! This Needler's a, a little bit brave. I don't think I would... Uh, Stick around if I saw that. Yeah, like in the classic camera, that is that is pretty cool. Oh, what have we got? Can we just jump off the side? Oh no we can't. It's a bit too high. Frog enemies in the river. Let's check them out. That water is so nice. Oh my god, it's so nice. And shit, I forgot to do the preemptive. A toady. Oh, just the one. And we've lost our pet. Yeah, that classic camera is way more cinematic. That's what we like. Level 5. And we have... We've got skill points now. Uh, a total of 3. And a new spell. Heal. Oh, thank God. Yes. Don't have to rely solely on items now. That's good. 3 skill points. How do I use these? Uh, every time a party member levels up, they will earn some skill points. As the name suggests, these can be used to acquire new spells. And abilities to use them open up the character builder from the MISC menu. Uh, use your skill points right away. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Oh, well, this is very different from 8. That kind of looks like a sphere grid type situation. Okay. Swords, great swords, sword mastery, and luminary. Ooh. Um... Improvements, uh, ride wanger, r ride wange, <laughs> ride wange of attributes, uh, as well as some truly incredible abilities. Stat boosts, improve overall attack power. Great. Well, I am using great swords. Let's see what abilities there are. Oh, we can't actually. Oh, there we go. Falcon slash. But it's locked. All right. So it looks like we'll need to start down here. Um. Flame Slash, Greatsword Guard. Hmm. I'm going to just quickly check what this is. Pep Chance plus 5%. 8 points. Okay, I'm going to go for... Uh... That's in Swords. Okay, let's... Hmm. See, I might end up using the one-handed Swords and Shields. So I'm actually going to go for Flame Slash. 
I assume you can only use that with one-handed stuff. And that's all of our points used. Okay. Looking forward to uh, having a look at those. Yeah, Flame Slash can only be used with a sword. Excellent. All right. Alright, so what I'm going to do then, just to see what this ability is like, I'm going to equip my cobblestone sword and my pot lid. Let's give it a go. Oh, yes. That is rather tasty. Alrighty. Uh, let's get this shiny before I forget. Fresh water. Well, that's uh, kind of what I would expect to find. What does it do? I'm guessing it's a... Uh... Oh, it might not be a healing thing. Huh. Okay. I guess maybe it's a crafting item. Oh, it's one of those mallet-looking dudes. Mallet-looking dudes. Mallet-wielding dudes. Can't remember what they're called. Hammer hoods, of course! Look at the texture on this hood. That's pretty sweet. Phone's not very old still. We chat. That flame slash is pretty awesome. Uh, how far are we from the next level? 101. Well, I'm definitely going to check out what's over here. So I reckon there might be something good. I wonder if there are harder enemies at night time. You would think so. Ooh. The hell are those? What the hell are these? A fright bulb. I don't think I've ever seen this enemy before in Dragon Quest. Uh, but then again, like I say, I've only played like 8 and 9. So... I'm really not an expert on the series. Oh, well that was easy. I thought they'd be a little bit tougher because they're kind of off the beaten path. But I guess not. Yeah, I might as well save some MP. Da -da -da -da. Now eventually, guys, what I'm probably going to do, like I did with Dragon Quest VIII, uh, if we're fighting the same enemies over and over, I probably won't show it all. I might cut some of them out, but at this early stage, I'm not going to do that. Because, uh, well, I just... We've only just started. I don't want to be cutting things out. We've... Oh, hello! I knew there'd be something. A cotton top. Again. I'm guessing a lot of this stuff is used in crafting whenever we unlock that. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a long way down. There's that red star. So apparently that's what, the, the luminary watching over us, but we're apparently the... The Luminary reincarnated, so who knows what that means. Three Drakis. Wow. Okay. This definitely calls for a few flame slashes. No, oh, one of them's ran off, you coward. I wanted your XP, goddammit. I 
mean, hopefully by the time we get to town, I'll have a, a bit of gold to spend. But, um, probably won't be heading into town just yet, because there is quite a lot more to see. Oh, are those balls sleeping? They totally were. It floats about in place a bit. Nice. He doesn't even care. We just slashed him in the face and he's like, nah, I'm just going to float around. Oh, very strange. Only five? Damn. How much gold have we got? 432, that's okay. Um, what was that cotton top? What do you do with that? No, it's gotta just be crafting stuff. Try not to worry about it. Whoa! I must have startled him. So we've got to go through a cave. Well, a little tunnel. Oh, that's nice and cosy. I still can't quite get over the fact that we're wearing the Dragon Quest VIII gear. That's so cool. Fan service! Oh, hello. A lampling. I thought he looked a, a little bit different. Ooh, yeah, shit. That's, uh, that's stung. Uh, I reckon we'll probably get to level 6 before we get to town. What the hell are those? What the hell are those? <laughs> what? They're kind of like a mix between a... Well, it's obviously a platypus kind of thing, but it kind of looks like a lemur, almost. Mixed in. Wow. I'm um, guessing he's going to be pretty tough. Oh yeah, shit. Might have to uh, heal in the next fight. Interesting. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I'm seeing some nice new enemy designs that at least I've never seen before. Yeah, might as well use this opportunity to heal myself. First time using the heal spell. So this is going to go back the way we could have come. So I'll just backtrack a little bit, see if we've missed anything. There's no doubt there will be something we can pick up. A lovely bridge. Oh man, I'm telling you, I get so much joy out of games like this. I mean, just thinking back to when I first played Dragon Quest VIII, I have so many good memories of it, and... Oh, shit, we just... Death from above. Didn't even see him. That's cool that some enemies sleep at night time. Um, but yeah, I just... I just know, just from playing this for a little bit, that I'm going to have the same sort of uh, experience. And that fills me with great joy. This is... My shit, guys. Two lamplings. Uh oh. And I mean, I'm I don't know. I'm guessing that flame slash is probably not going to do much against them. Damn. Yeah, please don't use your fire attack on me, please. Oh, they don't have much health. Oh shit. 
Nine damage, dude. I wonder if the lamplings only come out at night time. That, that would sort of make sense, but 18 XP! Holy crap! They are worth fighting. Must be close to leveling now. Nine, yes. So, probably fight this dude. Oh my god, three enemies, two of them lap this could sting. Crap. Um, I need to heal myself, I think. Oh no. Ten damage, dude. Ah, oh, perfect. Strength, resilience, critical hit rate. Dude, that's what we needed. Able to one-shot these things? That's pretty epic. Leave the Cruel Cumber to last. He's definitely the least of a threat. Should level up from this. Well, we will, and uh, that should mean we get healed. So it's a win-win. Twenty-three XP, twenty gold. Booyah! Only two skill points, though. Uh, let's have a look. What can we actually spend them on? Um. Yeah, those cost so freaking much, and they're locked anyway. Um, Great Sword Guard is three points. That's four. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to spend anything anyway. Okay. Right, so we are healed, 45 HP. Let's have a wander over this direction. Oh, there is a chest. Single file. Gratefully, pockets is fine. Oh, good for good for you, mage. Don't know what that does exactly. Um, I have a feeling I'm probably gonna end up coming this way anyway, guys. So, well, uh, we will head into town. Oh, I see a shiny up there. Huzzah! Let's try a flame slash on the lampling. Oh yeah, still does good damage, that's okay. Although we are pepped up, I just realized. That can last quite a while then, quite a number of turns. More pink pine. I need to be able to use that in something soon. Yep, so far, those lamplings are definitely the best things to fight. I've been looking at some, like, comments, because I've uploaded the, ver the first video of this now, and uh, it seems like this game didn't unlock on Steam when it was supposed to, or people were having problems with the Steam version of this, which, uh, which sucks, but hopefully people are all playing this now and enjoying it as much as I am. Um, I could have got the Steam version cheaper, I think, but I do I'm a stickler for some trophies, so, you know, had to be done, PS4. You know, played Dragon Quest VIII on the PS2. It feels it feels natural to me, even though you know it's primarily obviously a Nintendo-based uh, 
series. I haven't actually got a single Dragon Quest game on the 3DS. I've got the Dragon Quest IX on DS, but didn't they release... I mean, I know they released Dragon Quest VIII on the 3DS. Um, I think there's quite a few Dragon Quest games on DS, isn't there? Like, you can get most of them, I think. Maybe I should invest in those one day. Alright, so those things must have about 7 or 8 HP. 27! Holy shit! That, that is what you call a critical hit. So what's going to happen when we get into town? Is this the city that we saw in the opening cutscene that we uh, we escaped from as a baby? I don't know. If that's the case, it makes me kind of nervous to enter. But maybe it's not. Some, some people. Uh, did I get this far last time? No, I don't think I've been been over here. Uh, it doesn't look like there is actually anything. Oh no, hang on, hang on. Oh, we can actually harvest this. Ooh. Oh, cotton tops, okay. A few more of those then. And a medicinal herb. Surprise, motherfucker! Holy shit. It's, that's the thing, you don't know how many enemies you're going to be fighting. <laughs> wow, okay. That was a nice surprise. Still got 18. It's still good, but still. Right, let's have a chat with this gentleman with a hilariously large helmet. You have a very curvy helmet. Um, have you come far? Well, you're safe now. Heliodora waits. Once you're in the city, you can find a nice inn and rest up. Lucky old you. Uh, yeah, man. Looking forward to it. This place looks like it's quite heavily defended. Interesting. Uh, can't go over there. Yeah, I hope this place is going to be friendly. Largest city in all of Adre, you know. Ooh. Head downtown for the liveliest side of life. Okay. Well, let's have a look. You can use the right stick to change the way you're facing when the map is open. Okay. That looks damn impressive. Oh, <laughs> random uh, pop in there. Day at work. Please make yourself at home. Oh, and if you're wondering about the white speech bubble above my friend's head, that just means he's got nothing else to say right now. People get like that sometimes, you know? <laughs> oh, is this. Uh, oh, I think this isn't a quest, is it? No, it's not purple. Uh, I haven't seen you around here before. Hmm. I'm here to see the king, you say? Well, you won't find him around here. You better head to the castle. Well, yeah, duh. That's kind of where I'd expect him to be. Uh, just remember that they shut the gates as soon as the sun goes down. The king needs to sleep. Oh, okay. Right, we'll uh, we'll rest at the inn and we'll head the first thing tomorrow. So, are the shops closed at night time? Is that a thing? 
Um, if it's your first time in town, be sure to pay a visit. Your friendly neighbourhood armourer is right by the fountain. And there's the fucking pub. That's where I'd be going first. Hell yes. Oh, what a cosy tavern. What's this little kid doing in here? You're underage. Yeah, exactly. You shouldn't be here. Oh, bunny, bunny women. Yep. Typical Dragon Quest. Right, there is a quest nearby, actually. It seems, looking at the map, but... Um, is this... Yeah, this will be the inn. Okay, we'll come back in a minute. Let's have a word with this little chap here. Amelia... Am Amelia... Amelia... Stuck on the roof! She won't come down! Someone help me! Oh no, you have to help! The girl wants you to rescue... What is Amelia? Is it a cat? She's scared of heights, you know. Then why the fuck did she go up there? And which roof is it? There are a number of roofs in this city. Damn, everyone's out at night time. You see, there's a freaking band playing? Huh. Okay. She must be starving. You have to help her. She's stuck on the roof. Which roof? Do you mean this one? How do I get up there? I have no idea. Well, we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's go check out the armor shop. See if it's open. Some wonderful mustaches in this game. Armor is every adventurer's best pal. When the chips are down, he'll always be there for you. Right, let's see what you've got. A leather shield for 90 gold. Leather hat. Leather armor. Ooh. 180 gold, though. See, I'm wondering if I can find stuff like this. Ah, oh, but that is a lot more defense. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. Just because we do have quite a bit of money. Uh, would you like to equip it? Yes! So, are we, have we lost our Dragon Quest Eight armor now? I think we have. Sad times. Yeah, look, we're in our normal getup now. Although, that's actually different from what we were wearing at the beginning. Oh well. It's okay. Alright, so what weapons do you have? No one sells sharper swords than me, mate. You can look, but you probably best not touch. Alright then. Copper sword. Or a copper chopper. So that's, uh, that's pretty. I like that there's great swords in this. But 270 gold for a copper sword. That is tempting. That is mighty tempting. We'll, so we'll have a look around town first. We won't, we won't spend too much money yet. Because you never know, we might find some of this shit for free. Which would be uh, pretty damn cool. Uh, but this is where I'm going to end this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. We finally made it to our first major town, and what a town it is. I can't wait to explore this next time. I hope you're going to join me for it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.